Oh, I think I'm pulling something. I am. Ooh, what is this? Oh, is it a rope on there? There's a rope. We're snagged hard on something. Oh my. What is going on today, guys? Check it out. Today we are back down by the river. We got open water in the middle of winter. And today we are going to be doing some more magnet fishing. I planned on doing all kinds of ice fishing this year. And I haven't even made it out once yet. We had like one or two weeks of cold weather and that was it. Just before winter hit, we were absolutely pounding this area in the boat. We have found all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Super old stuff. And it almost seems like they're might have been a factory here. This is even the place where I put my waders on. I ended up going out in the river to try and unsnag my magnet and I almost drowned. Oh, what's that? I just seen a rope. Yeah, there's a rope right there. Oh, oh my gosh, we're done. We're done. Some of you guys might remember that video, but that was a couple years back now. So there is no telling what else could still be out here. We're not going to waste any time. Let's get right down to it today. Let's start tossing our magnet and let's see if we can find anything. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or if you want to pick up a magnet, those links will be down in the description, guys. This is pretty crazy, you guys. I mean, look at there's not even any snow on the ground. This is the only little bit of snow in this entire area. What the heck? So I don't know if spring is here already, you guys, but it sure seems like it. All right, you guys, today we are back out here once again. I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's get right down to it here today, start tossing around and see what we can find. You know what, now that I think about it, this river looks so wide open that I probably could get all the way up here with the boat already in the middle of winter. This is ridiculous. Ooh, what is this here? Something pulling on us. Maybe just a rock we're flipping over, I don't know. I know there is a lot of rocks in here, you guys. You can kind of see them when the water's shallow and you can even feel them in the boat, but in the boat, you can get the magnet unstuck pretty easy. From shore, not so much. What the heck we got here, you guys? Again, looks like just a bunch of scrap debris pieces. It's crazy how like nine out of 10 magnet fishing spots seem to look like people are just dumping buckets of nails. Oh, look at that on there. I was just cleaning my magnet off and I didn't even see that one. Check that out, we caught us a little sinker. It looks like the loop on there is still good and everything. Nothing wrong with that one. A little bit of cash money on that throw. Oh, we might be on to something here. I feel like I'm dragging some actual weight here, you guys. But again, I can feel it clicking on rocks just every tug. So we might snap off. We're probably losing a lot of stuff to rocks here. Whoa, you guys see this? What the heck is going on here? We definitely got something. Oh yeah, what do we got? Our first big old whole bunch of something on there. Check that out, you guys. First of all, right off the bat, I can tell that is definitely part of a bike rim. We almost don't even have half of it. Every time you find bike parts, you can only wonder if there's not a bike down there somewhere. But then looks like a big old scrap stick piece, nothing fancy there. Ooh, look at this, you guys. Is that a fishing jig? Blech. Looks like some fish been down there sucking on that one. <laughs> And the hook is snapped off. Holy cow, how old do you think that one is? You definitely ain't going fishing with that one no time soon. Then we got a bunch of weeds on there, of course, couple nails, but this thing here, what the heck is this? Looks like one of those giant paper clips. But I think this is actually some kind of hinge, probably a door hinge. And we found some big old door hinges in this area before, which makes me believe there might have been a factory here or something back in the day. Oh, couple things sticking off of here. First of all, what is that? I seen a little orange on there. I actually think that's like a little uh, cat fishing bell or maybe not a cat fishing bell, but just a fishing bell. And we're missing the two bells. Well, that one's junk. 
But we had this thing on here. What the heck is this one? Oh, check this out, you guys. This kind of looks like the socket to a drill or something. Like this might be the end that you attach to the drill. Whole bunch of mud and rock stuffed in there. You guys, it's so rare to find anything like new looking in the river. Almost all the stuff we find is just old as can be. Do you imagine if we find the drill that goes with this thing? <laughs> Oh, ho, look at that. I see a little white something sticking off of there. Hey, check it out, you guys. It's one of them little marshmallow on a nail looking pieces. We found tons of these in the past, and I believe it's some kind of insulator. For what? I have no clue. Now, I definitely found insulators in the past that are worth some money on eBay, but I don't think this one would be worth any money. I'm telling you guys, I know there's some stuff in here. We just got to keep tossing to find it. Oh, something hanging off of here. A little something. What do we got there, you guys? Ah, looks like just another scrap plate of nothing. There's debris like this on literally every single throw. It's ridiculous. Hey, look at that. I didn't even see it on there. We caught us a fishing bell. Only this one's a different style than the first one that we caught. The old bunny ears looking one. Wow, the clip on there still works and everything, you guys. This couldn't have been in there long. I don't exactly know what these cost in the store, but this is some cash money. Whoa. What's going on here? Something just grabbed us. Really, really slowly. Oh no, did I pop off? Uh, I think I might have. No, I still feel some weight though. I don't see much. What the heck do we got going on here? Looks like just a bunch of debris on the magnet there, you guys, but check this thing out. Yeah, I thought this kind of looked like something. It almost looked like the handle for something, maybe a pot. I don't really know what to think of that one. Definitely looks like it snapped off of something here, but who the heck knows what? Maybe the old flower pot holder? I have no clue. All right, you guys, one by one, we are slowly starting to fill up this cart here. Oh, when that wind starts blowing, you forget it's 50 degrees out here. Holy cow, it's cold all of a sudden. And that water's cold. My hands are like, I can hardly even open and close them. They're starting to get pretty cold. Oh, what the heck? Something just clicked really hard. Yeah, what is this, you guys? Seriously. Oh, whoa, this is definitely our heaviest find of the day so far. Whoa. Check it out. I know what this is right away looking at it. You guys, this is one of the grill pieces for the grill that I think, is it still there? It is too, check it out. Obviously this one is not for this grill because there's a new one on here, but this is this piece right here. It's the exact same piece, I'm pretty sure. Aha, I thought there was some words on there, you guys. I'm sure it's kind of hard to tell, it's super muddy, but right in the center there, it actually says Brilliant Ironworks, which is actually a factory that's now closed, but it's only like 20 minutes from here. Pretty cool, you guys. We could grill us up some burgers. You guys, I'd almost be willing to bet that the entire rest of the grill is probably still out there. The old cast iron grill grate. So many rocks out here. We're going to end up getting... Uh-oh. Don't say it. I'm going to jinx myself. I'm not even going to say it. Oh, I think I'm pulling something. I am. Whoa, what is this? I think we just lost some fishing line, but whoa. Oh no, hold on. Before we look at this, that looks super cool. But uh, we got some fishing line here, which could mean a uh, fishing pole or fishing lure or something. Oh, we snapped her off. No fishing gear today, but it's always good to get that fishing line out of the water, you guys. But check this flipping thing out. Is that like some kind of jack stand or 
I don't even know. Some kind of press. It almost looks like a stapler. What in the world do you think that is? Some kind of hole puncher maybe? And I wonder if we were to clean this up, maybe there's some kind of writing on there? Who knows? Let's keep tossing, see what else we can find you guys. Ooh, a little another something dangling off of there. Check that out, you guys. Again, whole bunch of nails. Oh, look at that, couple bottle caps on there too, it looks like. Oh, wait, then I see this in there. What is that? It almost looks copper color, but I know copper is not magnetic. It almost looks like the head of a pen or something. It's kind of hard to tell. Looks like we got a couple super old looking bottle caps in there. Definitely can't tell what those ones are. But we also had the old Sonic ring. We could wear it as a bracelet. Oh, it fits perfect too. It's just my size. Sold. You think I can make this in a basket from here? Oh no. <laughs> that did not just happen. Aha! I thought there was just a bunch of debris on there, you guys, but look at that. I see the old shiny, shiny. We caught us a fishing spinner, and the spinner still spins, and the loops on there still look decent. Heck yeah, you guys, there's like nothing wrong with this. Meow. Oh my gosh. I just pulled so hard on that, it almost slung shot me into the water. I'm not even kidding. We're snagged. We're snagged hard on something. Oh my good lord. Well, I think I got it. I think I just went airborne there. What the heck? Landed right in the goose poop. That's cool. Wow. Well, I got her unsnagged. That's about all that matters. Sheesh. That hurt my elbow. I landed right on that sucker. I got something here too. Oh, we're gonna be rewarded also. I like it. Heck yeah. What do we got here, you guys? Look at that big old slot looking piece. The old slot window off a vending machine. Who in the world knows? Again, super old, super rusty looking. I mean, look at that. We can just snap it right in half. Some seriously old stuff in here, you guys. Nah, -uh. I need to quit throwing here. Oh no, I got it snagged real good this time. I don't know if I'm gonna even get that one out. Oh, I got her, I got her. Jeez, I think I need to move out of this area. I'm gonna end up losing this thing today. I don't wanna do that. Oh, I just grabbed something, no kidding, right here. Right next to shore too. Oh, is there a rope on there? There's a rope or a string, but there's something else on there too. I'm gonna pull really slow. Come here, come here you rope. I got it, no way. All right, you guys, of course my GoPro battery dies literally as I pull this thing up, but we got a string here and I don't know what's on the end of it, you guys. But I was trying to pull on it here right after my GoPro battery died and I couldn't get it. So I don't know if I could maybe come from a different angle. I don't want to pull too hard or it's going to literally slingshot me into the river. One of the first things I noticed about this rope is look at the length of it. It's like the perfect length right up to this wall. They got something stuck and then it looks like maybe they just cut it off right here and tossed it in. So I'm going to assume that they probably already tried to get this thing unstuck whatever the heck it is and it didn't work. Yeah because I I cannot get this thing to budge, you guys. I feel like I'm having deja vu right now. If you remember the story from a couple years ago where I put my waders on, I got out in the river, 
to try and get something unstuck that looked similar to this. And when I did that was when I almost drowned. I stepped off the deep end and my waders started to fill up with water. It was bad. But this time, you guys, this rope does not look like it's out that far. And we might be able to get this one unstuck, whatever this is. That's definitely gonna be a mission for our next video. I'm 100% coming back here with my waders. Ah, oh, that's gonna bug me though. I really wanna know what's on the end of that thing. Thing. could be another magnet and if that's the case that's like not good news here because we could be next <laughs> whoa what is that oh is that another fishing bell Maybe not, but it's some kind of bell, you guys. That's the old cow bell. It's attached to a zip tie. What the heck's going on there? The old homemade fishing bell? And she still rattles. Holy smokes with the fishing bells here today, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is number three now. What is that? Is that a rock or what's going on here? Something massive pulling. I think it's actually coming. I see so many bubbles. You guys see this? Oh, we're pulling something huge. Like seriously huge. Definitely the biggest find of the day. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. I think I can see what it is. You guys, come here, come here. Oh, it is too. Oh my gosh. How does that get so far out there? Look at you guys. A whole flipping bike. Oh my gosh, there's actually tires on there. Usually we don't find bikes with tires. Usually the seat's missing, there's no handlebars. The old 15 speeder. What's the name on this thing? Magna? That's crazy, man. Couple clams on there, but really it doesn't look as bad as some of the bikes we found. Yeah, so far, yeah. It, you wouldn't believe how many of these I have pulled out of the river. In the past few, five years, it's I, I would say a couple hundred for sure. Well, that's where my missing bike went. <laughs> I, probably. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good one. Well, you're definitely not riding that one very far. Look at that sucker, you guys. I say this all the time, but there's usually only one reason that bikes end up in the river, and it's probably because they're stolen. Nobody's just throwing their own bike in the river. These things cost money. Something like this is probably a hundred plus dollar bike. The old 15 speeder, take that sucker for a ride once. Oh snap, oh. And I did see a little bit of green on there and I know exactly what it is, you guys. Check it out, you guys. We literally found another fishing bell. This is fishing bell number four. No doubt there's people doing tons of fishing around here. Aha! Look at that on there, you guys. Of course, a bunch of debris, couple rock pieces, couple nails. But look at, we got another sardine key. This one here, you can still see some of the shiny little gold color under there. I still, to this day, have never tried a sardine in my life. And every time I find one of these, it kind of makes me want to try one. I'd be willing to bet they were probably fishing with them, but I've heard of like sardines and anchovies on pizza and stuff, so I know people eat them. They're probably not bad. Oh, look at this on here. What's that? Dude, That is that a lock? It kind of looks like it, but the backside's busted out here. Yes, it is. You can see the keyhole. I'm assuming this is the backside with the mechanical workings and stuff, and maybe it busted off. No doubt that one's got to be old as can be. Way too cool, you guys. That's a super cool find. All right, you guys, I'm taking my little muffin snack here. I'm hopping in the truck. And I'm warming my hands up because I can't even feel my fingers.
Oh, you guys, I didn't even see anything on there. Just a big old leaf and again, 101 nails. But look at this, we caught a second lock. This one here is way smaller. It's got like a little wavy design on there. This is like the old diary looking lock. Super cool. What do you think these were coming off of? I'm like pulling on something, you guys. Is this magnetic or is this a rock? What's going on? I think I actually have something. Yeah. What is this? Whoa. Whole bunch of stuff on this one, you guys. Looks like tons of scrap pieces here, but first of all, -ah, this looks like part of the old sign pole looking piece. Definitely no sign on that one. But then we had this thing on there. And what the heck do you think of this one? I have no clue. Again, it kind of looks like maybe some kind of small window type piece. This side of it here has got a bunch of like rivets and like some kind of buckle on there. We are probably pulling something apart down there, you guys. And then look at this honker. Holy smokes. Now this is a big old hinge. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video when we found that other hinge, it was way smaller than this one. And I said that we've been finding way bigger bigger ones. Well, this is the bigger one that I was talking about. We have found tons of these things in here, and this is the type of stuff that makes me think that there used to be some kind of building or factory or something here back in the day. Pretty cool, you guys. Seriously, look at that sucker. Just massive. A whole bunch of stuff stuck on there again, but what is that? A stick? Yeah, it looks like a stick. What do we got on there though? A whole bunch of, whole bunch of debris again, you guys. Just, it's literally every throw. Ooh, right here. What do we got? The old fishing spinner again. Or not a spinner. This one here is specifically called a spoon. The old rusty spoon looks like maybe a little bluish color on there, but it's hard to tell. Again though, all it needs is a new hook and you're going fishing. Oh, I just snatched something up. What is that? Um, what is that? And how do I even have it? That is a piece of wood. Dude, oh, what? You guys, again, I just caught another piece of wood here, but this time I caught it with a big old bolt. Look at that one. Every single time I find an old piece of wood that's been under the water, all I can ever think about is that one TV show where they find the logs in the river that are worth like $10,000. Only the best of the best logs sank in this river. It's real nice, that high quality wood. And once they've sat in the river and become better, they use them for mantles, face boards, trim, cabinets. Who knows, maybe this thing would be worth some money to somebody, like the old driftwood decorative piece. I have no clue. I'm no wood expert, but if you are a wood expert, here you go. And I saw a little something else on there. What the heck is that? The old school chip clip. It kind of looks like one of those old school squeegee heads. Kind of looks like it. Almost looks like it would screw onto something. Maybe a handle here. Check that one out, you guys. Pretty cool. I think I'm pulling something, you guys. I'm just trying to be steady with it. I don't want to yank it off on a rock. Come here. I think it's actually going to come up. Yes, we got something here, you guys. What's she going to be? Oh, that sucker's kind of heavy. Again, a couple things, man. Oh, now we're laying into some pretty cool stuff. What the heck is this? That almost looks like a like a spatula or some kind of industrial type scraper. Look at it's got like some little teeth grippers on the on the spatula piece. And this is definitely like a handle. What the heck is that, you guys? That's super cool. The old pancake spatula. Whip us up some river pancakes. 
And then we had another little piece of scrap on here that kind of looks like it might, yeah, like this piece right here, like another piece of this frame thing. They're actually almost like identical. Really doesn't look like much, obviously just a chunk of scrap. But like I said, I think we might be pulling something apart down there. Oh, there's some weight on here. I could almost hardly tell and start, until I started lifting it up. Look at that, that's actually kind of a big piece. Whoa, is that part of like a muffler or an exhaust off a car? I almost thought so, just looking at this piece here until you get to this end, then it almost looks like maybe some kind of plumbing piece off of a factory, who knows? And I don't see no Frank and a crayfish living in there. <clears throat> Oh, what the heck is this? Something I just flipped over and grabbed. Oh, show, oh, baby. What do we got? Whoa, big something. Whoa, what is this piece, you guys? Looks like a big old hole in the center there. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to think of that one. But again, right along with everything else, it looks beat up and busted right up. What in the world is that one? There's no way. Look at that, you guys. A two for one on the spark plugs. Holy cow, one's got some blue writing on there, the old AC. And this one, I don't see any writing on there. I don't think there's been a single throw yet where I haven't found like half a bucket of nails. Oh, something sticking up. Whoa, no, no. I thought I seen a flipping crystal ball. You guys, I've literally found something exactly like this before. I think maybe even more than just one of these in the past too, but I've never found it with like more of this shaft on here. It literally looks like three talons holding a crystal ball. What do you guys think this is? I'm almost positive one of the ones I found in the past also came from this area. That is a super cool find, you guys. Some kind of little claw arm thing here holding a little crystal ball. This is crazy. Look at this pile of stuff here. We also had a little something else on there hidden underneath all the debris, this thing. Yes, I thought I seen some teeth on there. What do you think that is? Some kind of lever mechanism? I don't really know. Some pretty cool stuff in there, you guys. Who knows what this one is? All right, you guys, unfortunately, that is gonna wrap our video up here for today. I am freezing. My lips are cold, my cheeks are frozen, my hands are froze. Look at that, I think I'm gonna lose some fingers. Not a bad day at all, you guys. Especially magnificent from shore in the freezing cold. We found some pretty cool stuff. I can't wait for spring to get here. I am so ready to put my boat in the water. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.